So I've kind of uh, fallen behind on making this review. Uh, normally I would have expected to have it out earlier. But honestly, I haven't felt good about this episode. So this episode was okay, I guess, and it's fun to see uh, the chimera and, and the arch scene and, the, and that sort of thing. But honestly, the show isn't really thrilling me. Like, frankly, I never thought I'd say this, but part of, there's a small part of me that's going like, maybe I don't want to watch this because I'm not really looking forward to the next episode. If this is how the show is going to be, I'm like, well, what's the point? It's just like the books, except slower and more boring and less interesting. And, uh, you know, without any of the verve and velocity that made the original interesting. It's probably a little harsh for me to say this because uh, it's probably, you know, the most boring episode we'll have this season. We have, uh, after this, it's going to start getting exciting. We'll have the side adventures with, you know, Ares and the Lotus Eater Hotel. And then we'll get into the final third act with uh, Hades and all that. But you know what? I said earlier that, you know, you know the tone of a series after about five or six episodes. And uh, I feel like we might be close to knowing what the tone is, at least for this season. And it doesn't make me feel great. I've uh, talked about this in other locations, such as my video about how they could shoot the action in Percy Jackson. But uh, Percy Jackson is kind of an upbeat, high-velocity show. And... Uh, and this hasn't really captured that at all. I don't know, you know, all the details of how this is being conceived from a marketing pers perspective, from a shooting perspective, from an, audi from an audience perspective. I'm sure there's tons of insight I don't have about that process, and I'm sure that's all affecting how it ends up being what it is. But it worries me. Now, I'll be honest. Uh, about a year ago, I watched the finale of the His Dark Materials adaptation, spearheaded by Tom Hooper. And I'll be honest, the thought I had watching it was, this is good, I guess, and I'm glad it got adapted because I'm fond of those books too. But they somehow made this kind of boring. A good action story thrives on clear goals, clear obstacles, and a pace that drives steadily towards the next point. But this show isn't really doing that. It's just kind of waffling around and soaking in the vibes. And I don't think Percy Jackson is that type of story, because Percy Jackson is an action story. Something like his Dark Materials can lean into the more sedate pace, because while it's got some action, it's not really an action story. It's an adventure story, where, you know, occasionally they're at risk, but most of the suspense is just, can we get to point B, or can we get this thing we need? But Percy Jackson is an action story. It has a fight, you know, on average, probably every two chapters. And I think a production trying to adapt the books needs to be extremely cognizant of that. And of course, there are a million production details to keep in mind, because working with a child cast changes the dynamics of this exponentially. But this also seems like a thing that the cast would be capable of summoning a lot of enthusiasm for. As I've said before, I think Percy Jackson could be extremely successful and popular, and a great tool for Disney+. Plus if it's adapted well, but this doesn't feel like a good adaptation of the material. As it is, I don't think it's quite what it could be. Right now, it doesn't come across as a killer app that could renew interest in the platform. It comes across as Disney treating this like any one of its other kid-lit adaptations, but this is not a regular piece of kid literature. Well, I'm confident it could develop into anything good it wants to be, that's really dependent on people who aren't, say, the leadership we may think of. It's dependent on other people in the chain of production. And right now, they don't seem to be giving that attention. But whatever. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Let's see what turns up in later episodes.